the objective of the W3C is to bring the web to its full potential, which means that the web is the open mechanism for people to share information, to use for commerce and for entertainment. W3C gets its authority to be the driver of technical standards from the web, uh, I would say from, uh, from three sources. Uh, first and foremost, it was founded by the inventor of the web, Tim Berners-Lee, who created an open architecture and asked the industry through W3C to continue to develop and enhance an open architecture. Our second source of authority is from our membership. With well over 300 members, uh, we have most of the key participants uh, in the IT industry, in the web industry, uh, participating in the conversations already. And I think the third source of authority is a track record of success. Uh, there was a recent Boston Globe article of the 150 most important things that MIT has ever developed for the world. W3C was listed as the most important of the 150. I believe standard is the only solution because uh, only standard uh, bring us good balance of cooperation and competition. They're the shepherds of the specifications. Standards are only good if there are many participants. W3C is like an open place where people can really uh, work together on open standards uh, that everybody can use. Meeting different parties and different interests to see what kind of ideas they have. There is enormous value for companies to participate, to provide their use cases, their requirements, and to make sure that they're also learning from W3C what is the next generation standard so that way they could be at the forefront of implementing that for their customers. W3C helps us in getting time to market because it opens up the innovation uh, for applications and services. The way that we make it happen is as a convener. We bring the different industries together. We make sure they're having the right technical conversations. And based on that, we'll set up working groups which will define the technical standards that are necessary to provide the best possible experience. Web and TV convergence is happening right now. Uh, this workshop that I'm attending right now is actually telling me that um, for the first time, uh, TV and web people are getting together and actually actively trying to resolve uh, the differences in technologies. I think uh, HTML5 is just one way to go forward, to move forward, and uh, maybe W3C with this working group will just uh, set the standard for the TV, bringing HTML5 uh, also into the entertainment sector. You really have to keep your ears open the whole time because very important things could, uh, could pop up at any minute. By understanding what's important to other people, then you can work out what the path forward is that, that works well for everybody. Um, we think that the role of the W3C really is to help the ecosystem. Lacking some group like the W3C to help provide a, a pan-industry application platform, we think what will happen is you'll see fragmentation in the space. When you consider how much companies invest in R&D, you know, the small investment to be part of the conversation in W3C, uh, usually is justified. Because every time there is a new standard which comes from a, a big organization like the W3C, it means less specific development from, for us. So every time we can contribute to a standard, actually we save money in the, down the road. The key is working in partnership with W3C, with the requirements that are coming from this interest group. The more we can have lots of different content providers, lots of different content, um, lots of different services, uh, we think the more valuable an aggregator becomes. And you need a platform um, like the work that W3C provides with HTML and the related standards to have um, that broad ecosystem be healthy. Who will uh, actively join this convergence will have a chance, opportunity uh, to win. Uh, but uh, who will not join this activity will lose. You can never be sure that all of your requirements will be satisfied unless you actually become involved yourself. W3C has been very, very successful in creating one of the most important standards ever 
so the web. <laughs> so one of the beauty of that we see that everybody can be involved. Everybody can contribute to shape the future of web technology. As much as the web has transformed every single industry over the past 20 years, the new open web platform that we're creating based on HTML5 with rich multimedia and accessibility by all sorts of devices will transform every single industry once again. Thank you.